that plan and asma and only asma bint Abi Bakr, your daughter. And of course, putting asma in that situation, yeah, and I, I would love for my dear sister back there to think of that mission it was given to asma to study it in terms of it is only men who can have that difficult mission or something to do for Islam. No, women have a specific role to play in Islam, to make Islam the, in the best image ever. What Asma did? And what was her mission? And by the way, Asma at that time was pregnant. She was expecting a baby to deliver. Yet, the task she was given, one of the most difficult tasks ever, would be given to a woman, and not only a woman, but to a pregnant woman. And not only to a pregnant woman, but for someone to carry food and supplies to her father along with Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and walk for a long distance and climb to up he will in the mountain there while they were hiding in the cave. And some people say, this is not fair. Oh, why not you choose a man to, to do it? No, 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 no. We need a woman. The Quraysh people will never think of Asma as the one carrying a food. She's going where? Oh, anywhere. It, it doesn't matter. But if it is a man carrying food and something, oh, must be going to Muhammad to feed him. Because the journey is long and they cannot carry that much of food. But it is just here to uh, camouflage. Asma would carry the food in a daily basis as much as she can in order to feed Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and to feed her father there while they are hiding in that cave from the eyes of the Quraysh people not to be captured. Climb upheaval that mountain there in order to reach out for them, pregnant, and make sure that food got to reach them out, otherwise they would be dying out of hunger and thirst. The other day she was trying to uh, carry as much as she could. She's already carrying a baby. But she wanted to carry as much as she can of the food to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Abu Bakr her father. She, she, she could not carry and she thought, how, how can I carry here and there, and one bag in here and one bag in here and add into it and so on and so forth. A brilliant idea came to her how to carry it easily for her while she's pregnant and walking in order to tie this bag in one rope and the other one and carry both of them looking for a rope or a belt or whatever in order to carry both of them she did not find the only thing she found her belt she was wearing and she took it off and she split it to two halves because it wasn't long enough to tie those two bags to carry it and split it to two pieces and connect them carrying those two bags and keep going that's why she was named after this in incident, after this wonderful way she did. Asma that in Nitaqayna. Sometimes when we read the, the, the seerah, the biography says that in Nitaqayna means what? Oh, it is that split belt she used in order to tie the two bags in order to keep one. Asma bint Abi Bakr radiallahu anha wa arda, Zawgat al-Zubayr ibn al-Awwam, Radiallahu anhumma wa ardahumma dhat al-nitaqin. Asma'am. Mus'ab, Abu Bakr, and Asma'am. Who's else in that wonderful plan? We'll find out and we'll be happy to know more and more about that wonderful plan of Ali ibn Abi Talib, Radiallahu anhu wa ardah, and some others. إن شاء الله رب العالمين لازلنا في رحاب المصطفى البر لا يبلى والذنب لا ينسى والديان لا يموت كل ابن آدم خطاء وخير الخطائين التوابون والتائم من الذنب كمن لا ذنب له ادعوا الله وأنتم موقنون بالإجابة الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى الحمد لله وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأصلي 
وأسلم على رسول الله صلاة وتسليما يلي قانب الحبيب المصطفى النبي المجتبى صلوات ربي وسلام عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وتابعيه وتابعي تابعيه إلى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters of Islam Our children, boys and girls, the future of Islam And our dear guests too What are the other elements of that plan of migration From Mecca to Al-Madina Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Along with Abu Bakr to reach Al-Madina safely Ali ibn Abi Talib is cousin Ali, you have that task it is not an easy one comparing to the previous ones. It is one of the most difficult one ever, Ali. Make sure that money, everything I am interested with, you give it back to me. Easy done, I can do that. Though Ali was one of the poorest of the poor, and he can look at things and say, oh, money and goods and stuff, let me keep it to myself. Each and every single thing got to be given to people. While he's doing so, the Quraysh people disbelieve. Oh, oh, Muhammad is leaving Mecca. This is an indication that Muhammad is leaving Mecca. Going somewhere, we will never allow him to leave. He got to be one word. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the inspiration of God Almighty knew that he would be killed. And it was the idea of the Quraysh people look at the wicked planning of the enemies of Islam. When they were trying to get rid of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by any means, not only in the valley to eat from the the, the, uh, the, the, the dried branches trees for three years or being killed and persecuted and so no no he himself as a leader got to be killed that's why they said oh he's leaving no matter what and they knew the night would be leaving they had their own eyes they were good in doing that they have uh, FBI and CIA but uh, <laughs> in the Arab way okay how we're gonna kill him? One, if it is one to kill him, it would go one for one. Muhammad is killed, that person is gonna be killed. Uh, these are the traditions of Arabs at that time. Two, it got to be maybe two for one. No. Look at the formula they came up with and the blend they came up with and the brilliant idea they came up with, brilliant in their own ways. That was one of the, the worst failure ever because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help. They said, were 40 tribes in Arabia at that time. Bring from each tribe the best fighter ever. The coldest blood of killing ever. The one who has no mercy whatsoever when he kills. And they were able to bring 40 of those best in their eyes, worst in killing. And they will line up in two rows, to any this side, to any this side, by the door of Muhammad when he comes out, or about to come out, going to join Abu Bakr, all at once, one, two, three, dear. one, two, three, ready, go, one, swords, kill Muhammad. You live that scene? See the plan? Yani if two miss, 38 won't miss. If 20 miss, 20 other won't miss. So no way, no way Muhammad would be safe when he's coming out in order to flood uh, his house and Mecca to go to Al Madina, subhanAllah, Rabbul Alameen. Wallah, I wish it would be a movie. Maybe you can chill the outside. Uh, it has been already produced as part of the uh, biography of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the migration. Two things Muhammad did. Ya Ali, are you ready? Yes, Ya Rasulullah. There is a mission here. And it is an easy mission. Easily for you to be killed. How Ya Rasulullah can say, 
You see my bed? Yes. And my room? Yes. When I'm about to leave, you pretend you're sleeping in my bed, cover yourself as if you are Muhammad. When I'm leaving, don't worry about me and say, what is going on around? Say, this is not your business. Your business is just to say that. If they find you there, and they found you there, and all of them, the four, they killed you at once, Allah says, that's your rock. As your destination. Ready, Ali? Yes, Rasul. I am ready to die for you. And I'm willing to die for Islam. It doesn't matter. How many of us nowadays, and I'm not saying to die for Islam, or to die for Muhammad, but to sacrifice little, little wallahi for Islam, little, 50 cents a dollar, do something. Ali did not question Rasulullah did not argue he's just receiving orders and commands and implement your bed ya Rasulullah cover myself yes stay assalamu alaikum what do you mean? well I think of yourself for a while as I and when you think about, I can sacrifice something for Islam, we're doing well, all of us. We have the resources, we have the money, we have the knowledge, we have the courage, we have planning. Please, Wallahi, do something for Islam. And Allah will help you and will save you as He saved Ali bin Abi Talib. Yes. Yes. Try. 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 I shared with you earlier when my wife and I were in a car accident and they couldn't even open, open the doors in order for us to get out because we were hit from behind and a bus is in front of us. No way for anyone to say those two guys will never be safe coming out of it. But it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help and mercy on us. Don't be afraid of anything. Don't be afraid of anything. Come on, buy. Sacrifice. Do something for Islam. Do. Do. What happened, by the way, I mean, investigating. It is not just a car accident, believe me. No, why? It's intentionally done. And I'll find out and I'll share with you. I will share with you if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me life. Inshallah. Because we're a stoplight. We're not in highway. We're not in freeway. It's not a winter time. But you're there and you do as much as you can for Islam. No one will let you do as much as you can. But we're willing to die for it. We are. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there wallahi when they were trying to say, Ya Allah, make it the last moment of my life. Not only me, but me and my wife. Do something for Islam. Please. Please. Allah, Allah will help you. When I came out miraculously, and my wife came out miraculously, I say, Ya Allah, what can I do for you more? I am sharing with you death scene. I lived it. I witnessed it. I saw it by my own eyes. I was there and looking around saying, what is happening? I wasn't, I, I wasn't driving uh, yani, a small little tiny car, you, all of you, Jeep, uh, good one. But it took the shape of, instead of this way, the shape of V, the three levels of the car. Total, total. Should be thankful and grateful to him. Yes. And I'm the first among you. Should be thankful and grateful to him. Ali, you stay. No matter what happened to you, yes, Ya Rasulullah, I will be in your spot. You leave. 
Rasulullah SAW made a dua for him to be safe and secure. That's it. Ya Allah, take care of him, my cousin. Because he was the first to believe in Islam when I told him. While he was young with me under the protection of his father Abu Talib. Ali ibn Abu Talib radiallahu anhu. Ali is there and he's ready to die. But how about you, Muhammad, when you're coming out among those two rows of 20 and 20 in here and your head will be shoved out, your neck is going to be shoved out, what you're going to do? You want to hear the miracle of Allah? Bismillah. Muhammad came out. Step by step. Step by step. Step by step. First two. Four. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, Muhammad is saved. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his own power to let them not to see Muhammad coming among them. فأغشيناهم. Make them blind, say it. Make them not to see, say it. Not dysfunction, their vision, not to see him. Say whatever you want to say. 40, not only one or two or 10 or 20 or 30, all of them the 40, and Muhammad is safe. What do you think? إن كنت على حق فالله معك والعدو الإسلام على باطل فالله لهم بالمرصاد وما يعلم جنود ربك إلا هو وما هي إلا ذكرى للبشر كلا لا وزر The only one absolutely who knows his power is Allah It is not you or me or all of us Leave it for him and he will save you He will secure you you will never get harmed by even a little needle from anyone around you, even they are 40. Even they are 40. Think about it. Think about it. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, safe and secure, he's out. Reach Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu arda to go for the hijrah. All of a sudden, those 40 fighters and every they wake up. The vision came back to them. Can you imagine when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving the orders for the functioning of your vision not to work, not to see for a while? Yani, yani how long did it take Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa to walk? A minute or a couple of minutes or did he fly or what, what? They found the door open. Yeah, the door was locked. Let's find out. Some went into the room of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu to find out where he is. Oh, he's still sleeping. Okay, ready? Yeah. At once. One, two, three. Ready? Oh, kill. They went there. So let's, let's make sure he is there. They uncovered. The body waiting, the, oh, it's not Muhammad, it is Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu arda. Yani out of madness, out of anger, out of failure, out of whatever you would like to say, one of them would kill Ali and say, we were fooled, our plan miserably is done, kill Ali and then go look for Muhammad. But subhanallah, none of them dare to harm Ali he's in front of them no no for a reason the 
courage, the haqq, the truthfulness, the sacrifice, the way I'm willing to do something for Islam and for you, Muhammad. Here I am, powerless, helpless, kill me, take a revenge. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is safe. Ali is safe. Rasulullah will reach Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu arba in order to accompany him, in order to go for their journey from Mecca to Al Madinah. I will stop at that point. But next week, I promise you, keep going with that wonderful sacrifice, that wonderful plan of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Hijrah, in order for us to learn something, to plan well for our life. As long as you're doing something for your Creator, God Almighty, He will save you, He will secure you, He will help you, He will guide you. Don't worry about any other plans around you. In Allah, O Malaika, we pray on the Nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim fi al-alamin innaka hamidun majid. اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وعالي بفضلك راية الحق والدين وانصرنا على عدوك وعدونا يا رب العالمين اللهم انصر من نصر أمة محمد واجعلنا منهم واخذل من خذل أمة محمد ولا تجعلنا منهم اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا وفك أسرانا وكن لنا ولا تكن علينا ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا يخافك ولا يرحمنا اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي وعصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرة التي إليها معادنا واجعل حياة زيادة لنا في كل خير واجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر اللهم آمنا في روعاتنا اللهم ول أمورنا خيارنا ولا تول أمورنا شرارنا اللهم برحمتك عمنا واكفنا شر ما أهمنا وعلى الإيمان الكامل والكتاب والسنة توفنا وأنت راض عنا اغفر اللهم لنا ولآبائنا ولأمهاتنا ولأخواتنا ولزوجاتنا ولأزواجنا ولإخواننا في الله تعالى أحياء وأموات ولكل المسلمين أجمعين إلى هذا حلنا لا يخفى عليك وهذا ضعفنا ظاهر بين يديك فعاملنا بالإحسان إذ الفضل منك وإليك واختم لنا بخاتم السعادة أجمعين عباد الله إن الله أمركم بثلاث وأنهاكم عن ثلاث إن الله يأمركم بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وأنها عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم يذكركم أشكروه يزيدكم قوموا إلى صلاتكم ورحمني ورحمكم الله وأستمتعكم الله